So second down and 13 from their own 45. Play action inside. Colbert hit and dropped. Obina Ioma picks up his second sack of the year. Just a straight speed move around the outside. Second and 20 for the Demons. Actually, excuse me, 25 for the Demons. They'll go inside, handoff, huge hole for Chris Jones. Beats one man, and he'll get almost to the first down on second and 25. He gets 23 right up the middle. Snap back to Allman, facing pressure. Throws the deep out, caught by Chan Chan. Makes a man miss at midfield. 45, and he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. As Chan Chan on first and 15 will get it back inside Lamar territory to the 44. It's a gain of 10 on the deep out. Shotgun for Allman. Now he'll call for the football. Inside handoff Jones. Big hole right up the middle. 15, 10. Cuts it back inside the five. He goes. Morgan and Meggs on the line of scrimmage. Charles Vaughn in an up position to the right. The tailback west is to the left of Allman in the shotgun. Second and goal from the two. West gets the carry right up the middle. Touchdown, Demons! So the Demons commit three consecutive false starts to begin this drive. They overcome it and convert a fourth and short and ultimately punch it in. The ground game working to perfection. Keep in mind, NSU had 390 yards rushing against this crew last year. Granted, it's a new coaching staff, new philosophy. But so far, so good on drive one of the home season and the conference season for the Northwestern State Demons. The extra point on the way from Pachoni is good. One receiver left is Chan Chan. Two backs in the backfield. Allman drops. Steps and throws, looking down the left side for Chan Chan, caught inside the five! Bobby Chan Chan, so nice they named him twice. Down to the three, a 43 yard pitch and catch and the Demons want to move fast. Chan Chan with amazing separation at the last minute to corral that one. Inside the five, now three receivers bunched to the left side, the short side, handoff inside to West, powers forward, touchdown, Demons! Second TD run of the game for Jared West. Well, Tony, if you play as much man as Lamar does, with even if you play a, a you know three deep as a zone, a single high safety, J.D. Allman's going to watch the safety and throw the fade. We've already seen him throw three or four of them. That time it was complete. The one to Lazar was complete, but called offensive pass interference. That one was complete to Chan Chan all the way to the two-yard line, and then Jared West pays it off. Allman calls for the football, looking left all the way. He's going to throw the fade pattern into the end zone. Caught! Jalen Watson more than makes up for the drop earlier. That's a touchdown. From 25 yards out, a beautiful fade into the corner of the end zone. And Jalen Watson, who had that 52-yard touchdown at Louisiana Tech in week one, comes back with a beautiful grab there in the far corner of the end zone. And the Demons take a 20-7 lead. We hear the saying a lot, players make plays. These Demon receivers are making some plays here tonight. How about the Demon offense? Almost 200 yards already. And we are 44 seconds into the second quarter. Extra point from Eric Piccioni is good. It'll be a quick roll to the left side and not much there for the backup tailback, James White. As a matter of fact, he'll lose a yard and a half back to the 10. And that'll bring up third down now. Third down and six, about between six and seven for the Cardinals. They'll go three receivers to the right, one to the left. Ball at the 10-yard line after that loss. Lamar again moving quickly. Colbert calls for the football. Blitz comes. Colbert throws the back shoulder fade, batted away. That time it was Ike Warren who knocks it away from Martell Hawthorne, and now a decision for first-year head coach Mike Schultz. Now a 32-yard attempt from the left hash. 
They're going to fake it. Pitch to the outside is go fumbled, and down he goes. All the way back at the 24-yard line. Well, they tried to run an option left, and the Demons were not fooled in the slightest. Third and nine, play action inside. Colbert steps up in the pocket. He is chased all the way out to the right side. Still in play, but he'll go out of bounds right at the 50-yard line, well short of the first down. As Chrishard Bull chased him out of bounds, credit Obina Ioma as well for some pressure on the off of his left side to force the three and out. But Lamar has it first and 10 at the Demon 49. Play action, Colbert. He's going to step. He's throwing deep down the middle of the field. That one is incomplete. Good coverage, Deron Littleton on Martell Hawthorne, the junior receiver. And he made sure that one didn't go for any yardage. And 18 for the Cardinals. Colbert drops. Steps up in the pocket. Lynn Clark can't quite get him in the backfield. And then Nick Parati will clean him up after a gain of a couple. Boy, Clark had an opportunity for a sack there as he came in for Ioma. Demons get their correct rush package in. Ioma and Clark on the end. Zach Krolchik, the, the defensive tackle. Colbert drops under pressure. Lynn Clark brings him down. Ioma from one side, Clark from the other. Demons with a pair of sacks on that possession, and the Cardinals will be forced to punt from the Demon 38-yard line. NSU spread out now. Play action. They're going to throw another screen to the outside. This one, a huge hit. Zay Giles gets racked by Ike Warren along with Ian Edward. Ten seconds now as they get set up from the right hash. It'll be a 24-yard attempt. Four, three, two, one. Snap, fake. Allman keeps. He's got the first down. Demons fake it with one on the play clock. J.D. Allman over right tackle. Needed a half a yard and got two. And he is in the backfield. Everyone tight to the line of scrimmage except for Cameron Lazar, who's wide right as the short side of the field. Second and goal from the one. Allman in the shotgun. Calls for it. Hands it. West. Third touchdown. He went in standing up. And the Demons march right down the field and take the lead back. 27-21 extra point pending. A result of the fake field goal. Yep. And that is an an that's a heck of an answer, Tony, because with what happened to this team last year and so many games where things went the wrong way, it could have certainly been hang your head and pity party for the Demons, but instead they have they went and marched right down the field and scored. Signaling in place. Speed option again. Pitch to the outside. Demons string that out perfectly, and it's a loss of five. Lynn Clark in there. Um, second and ten from the 41. This will be a handoff over right tackle. Cutting it back up. Gidry makes the stop and then gets some help from a host of other purple shirt. Colbert calls for the football. Drops. Colbert under pressure. Down he goes. Obina Ioma again, along with Damian Thompson. Ioma has been an absolute force coming around the outside. That is his third sack of the ball game. Back goes out of the backfield in motion. They're going to throw the tunnel screen back to the near side. Caught inside the 15, inside the 10, and Quan Atkins takes it down to the eight-yard line. Morgan's down, Meggs is outside of him, Charles Vaughn in an up position to the right. Allman, play action, he'll take it out to the left side, he will waltz into the end zone! Touchdown, Demons! What a well-designed quarterback counter. They took Charles Vaughn, the up back, to the right side. And after they faked it to the right, Vaughn escaped out over left tackle. Allman followed him, and there was honestly nothing for either one of them to do. Nobody was out there. It was blocked fantastic, uh, fantastically well, and everyone went with 
Chris Jones on the fake. And so J.D. Allman could have hopscotched his way in there if he wanted to. The extra point from Eric Piccioni is on the way, and it is good. Sweet coming to the left side, trying to turn the corner is King. Strung out by Balthazar, and his help comes. No gain on the play. Third down and four from the 44. Credit the safety, Austin Balthazar, for stringing that one out. Shotgun for Colbert. Calls for the football. Demons blitz. Handoff. King didn't get it! Demons stone him at the 47-yard line! NSU's defensive coordinator, Brad Laird, is ecstatic as his defense stones Lamar on fourth and a yard. Going over right guard, Kendrick King got nothing. Colbert is going to hand off around the left side. Great play inside by the Demons. Nick Ford. Nick Ford and, and Zach Krolchik meet at the tailback, Kendrick King, a loss to almost midfield. He drops, looks left. Now under pressure, down he goes! Zach Krolchik got him! Demons, though, need to get back out on the field. Colbert drops, three-man rush, good pocket. He's going to throw it to the deep sideline, intercepted Ike Warren! He'll bring it up the right sideline, 45 midfield, and he will hit out of bounds. Ike Warren, the junior from Tyler, Texas, might have just ended this one for the Demons. Patrick, Northwestern president, Dr. Chris Maggio is on the sidelines. Mr. President, looks like the Demons are going to win. How about them Demons, baby? What was this a great weekend? We love it, folks. How about them Demons? <laughs> Ike Warren, who, had, who played only four games last year due to an injury he suffered in the first game of the year, but in the last three, when he came back, he had three interceptions. Three interceptions in four games. The Demons as a team last year had four interceptions, and Ike Warren had three of them. And he makes the play there, corrals it, takes it down the sideline, and the Demons are 49 seconds away from their first win of the season and their first conference win in two years. You don't need to kneel it immediately. J.D. Allman kneels it immediately. Lamar not calling time out here. Interesting. Have they uh, surrendered the Perhaps, players? perhaps. Clock is now under 30 seconds left to go. J.D. Allman in the victory formation, a formation the Demons have not gotten to use a lot, and a formation that the Demons have not gotten to use against a Division I opponent as Almond takes it, kneels on it. The Demons have not defeated a Division I opponent in 665 days. They do it tonight. The streak has ended. Northwestern State 1-0 in Southland Conference play.